Picture this, you're living in LA but feel like shopping for a day in the Big Apple. You wander down the street and not far away there's a car park sized platform with an electric pod like vehicle. You get in and there's no schedule, it just descends below the street into a subterranean tunnel. The pod is pressurized and then the tunnel is depressurized. This allows speeds up to 600 miles per hour. Your pod isn't alone, there are hundreds of others whizzing by. You're on the Hyperloop. 21 minutes later, you're in New York City. Let the shopping begin. What is the Hyperloop? If you thought the idea of people traveling between cities or across nations in short time frames was science fiction, think again. That's exactly what Elon Musk's The Boring Company has in mind. New and innovative, The Boring Company's original focus was on transportation of cars through tunnels on electric sleds, thus reducing inner city congestion. As of 2018, that focus has shifted with CEO Elon Musk taking to Twitter to announce to the world that the company will prioritize mass transportation over individual vehicle usage. While he didn't rule out the tunnels ever supporting cars, Musk said The Boring Company's tunnels will prioritize pedestrians and cyclists over cars. It's a matter of courtesy and fairness. If someone can't afford a car, they should go first. Describing the system on Twitter, Elon Musk said, I guess you could say it's 150 miles per hour underground autonomous electric bus that automatically switches between tunnels and lifts. Making use of underutilized space underground isn't a new idea. Back in 1972, R.M. Salter, a physicist working for the Rand Corporation, wrote a paper describing a scarily similar concept. Concept. While Salter's name for the innovation, the very high speed transit system, doesn't quite conjure up the same excitement as Hyperloop, he did propose a system with propelled cars using electromagnetic levitation and traveling via vacuum tunnels. Even four plus decades ago, Salter concluded that such a system was no far out dream. No new scientific breakthroughs were required. All that was needed was addressing the physical construction and political issues. That's precisely where Elon Musk and the Boring Company are today. Reportedly work has already been completed on a 305 foot tunnel which has an entrance at Musk SpaceX HQ in Hawthorne, California. And the company has a green light to increase the tunnel by 2 miles towards LAX. The plan is to build a grid of low-cost, fast-to-dig tunnels to house this high-speed transportation system. The city loop will consist of standard pressurized tunnels with pods on electric skates traveling over 125 miles per hour. The Hyperloop will be for long distance travel in straight lines such as NYC to DC and instead will use pressurized pods in a depressurized tunnel to permit speeds of 600 miles per hour plus. But whether the project comes to fruition comes back to cost. Even with radical improvements in tunneling technology, building infrastructure of this magnitude will be expensive really expensive. That means successful Hyperloop will need government subsidy and therefore political will. Just think of the benefits. Who wouldn't want to be whisked quickly from A to B at 600 miles per hour in a vacuum tube? 29 minutes between the capital and New York City. The technology could in theory also be cheaper and greener in comparison to short haul flights as well as long truck journeys according to experts from NASA, the US Department of Transportation and Hamburg University. Musk's company isn't the only one thinking of Hyperloops. In 2017, Virgin Hyperloop, partially funded by Richard Branson's company, successfully tested a full scale pod at the speed of 190 miles per hour. In addition to the USA, Hyperloop lines are currently being proposed to link Abu Dhabi and Dubai, two of the seven emirates that make up the United Arab Emirates, European capitals Bratislava, Vienna, and Budapest, and several other cities in Mexico. In conclusion, some argue transporting cars via electric sleds was what made the boring company system different from a conventional subway. Moving away from the concept towards transporting passengers makes it sound just like a super fancy subway train. But unscheduled high-speed transport with much smaller impact in terms of entrance and exit size on the surface promises more than just a regular subway system. The aim is to reinvent transport and eliminate obstacles of time and distance while providing potentially greener travel alternatives. 
Hey everybody, John Burra from Mammoth Animations. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, you can support us by enrolling in this free course on how to make games without coding. This course is normally $30 and you can have it today for free. This sale won't last forever, so enroll today. If you really like this video, you can like and subscribe. Also, please be sure to comment on the video as well. We do read the comments. Lastly, if you're a big fan of Mammoth Animations, you can support us on Patreon. It's because of patrons like you that make this video possible. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned next week for another Mammoth Animation.